U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon on Monday formally dismissed the federal charges against former President Donald Trump for allegedly withholding government documents, ruling special counsel Jack Smith was unlawfully appointed. This is the latest in a series of blows to criminal cases against the former president. Cannon sided with Trump's request to dismiss the charges against him under the Constitution's Appointment Clause, as the ex-president claimed Smith's appointment by U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland violated the law. Judge Cannon, a Trump appointee, ruled someone with Smith's level of power should only have been appointed by the president and confirmed by the Senate. She also ruled Smith's appointment violated the Constitution's Appropriations Clause because Congress had not appropriated funds to Smith's investigations as required under federal law. Cannon's ruling came after Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas made the same argument in his concurrence to the court's ruling granting Trump some immunity from criminal prosecution in his federal election case. Over the last few decades, numerous special counsel investigations have proceeded without issue under the current statute. That list includes the special counsel investigation into Hunter Biden. When Biden's lawyers made a similar argument in their motion to dismiss the case by arguing special counsel David Weiss was unlawfully appointed, the federal judge in that case, also a Trump appointee, rejected the motion. Trump was indicted on 40 federal felony charges for allegedly withholding national security information by bringing White House documents, including classified materials, back to Mar-a-Lago with him, and for allegedly obstructing the government's investigation into retrieving the documents. For more on this story, check out Alison Durkee's article and the link in the description.